Michael Shaoloff, the CEO and co-founder of Fireblocks, a company that secures digital assets in transit, talks to us about his history, the challenges and missions for the future of safe money transfer. Hello, my name is Aya Karliva and we appreciate you taking the time to join us for an interview with Financial IT. My name is Michael Shallow, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Fireblocks. Can you tell us more about Fireblocks and your background? I spent the last 20 years in the cybersecurity space, so many years ago, about 20 years ago, I actually started in the Israeli Cyber Command. And then uh, about 10 years ago, I started my previous company, which was focused on mobile security for enterprise clients. We got acquired by a company called Checkpoint about uh, five years ago in 2015. Uh, Checkpoint is the biggest cybersecurity vendor, about a $20 billion company. I was running their mobile and cloud security uh, portfolio for about three years. And in 2017, we actually experienced something which was quite interesting. We were basically part of an investigation team that looked into a breach that happened in South Korea. And that's, I think, was the first time that I sort of realized that uh, digital assets and cryptocurrencies are sort of the future of uh, financial markets. That has essentially brought us into doing quite a broad uh, market analysis and uh, understanding the, where this market is going and essentially build fireblocks. What we provide fireblocks is currently the most robust and scalable secure infrastructure for financial institutions. So the new normal, um, is it a boom or a bust for the digital assets industry? and? What's the impact of the global pandemic on the digital assets community? So at this point, we see it as a boom, as there is more and more uh, money being printed to basically trying to stabilize the economy on the back of uh, the pandemic. Uh, we're actually seeing a lot of fairly reputable hedge funds and a lot of basically uh, private wealth investors turning to gold. They're also turning to Bitcoin as one of those assets that can essentially stabilize and protect them from inflation. So that's, I think, you know, one macro element that we're seeing. There is another one which I think showed to all of us certain inefficiencies when uh, there is the distribution of emergency funds. The system doesn't work, right? And there are too many intermediaries in between that make the process uh, slow. Also, you know, at the end of the day, they sort of like cut into the distribution of those funds. Firebox is actually in a very interesting intersection of this market because as more and more financial institutions and basically more regulated entities, they, they move in. They need to. They need a secure way to operate with this asset class. They need the ability to store this asset securely, uh, but you know, with a reasonably high SLA uh, access. The second thing, which is the most important, is basically be able to provide payments and settlements in a very rapid uh, pace without being susceptible to inherent risks that exist around this process with digital currency. So a lot of the hacks that we've seen in the last couple of years were related to either external hackers or actually insiders and this is where basically for our books really uh, provides the only solution those days in the market because we are both able to address the, the, the custody problem in a um, high performing high scale environment but most importantly what we really solve for the market uh, is the ability to do those transfers in a very efficient way so our infrastructure is based on cloud computing and mobile devices and is actually built to this like modern IT, we allow our customers to work securely and remotely. Over the last quarter, we actually doubled the amount of customers we have. In March, we had less than 50 customers on our platform. We now have over 100. We started the year with about $4 billion being transferred monthly in our platform. At the end of March, we were already at $7.5 billion that was transferred. And now we have crossed the 17 billion that is being transferred on a monthly basis. The market is really maturing, booming. We see a lot of um, traditional players and fintech companies moving into this space. To continue the conversation about Fireblocks, my final question to you would be, what is next for Fireblocks? The first one is actually to bring more efficiency and more capabilities into the cryptocurrency market. We are working on additional layers uh, from a compliance standpoint, from settlement efficiency standpoint, the ability to connect them in a, in a much more efficient way. That's sort of one initiative that we are focused on. In addition, we have, as I mentioned uh, before, we have this uh, unbelievable traction right now with the more traditional, you know, Wall Street based institutions that we are working with them 
I think across the across the board uh, that they are looking to basically enter this market with a variety of offerings, and it's quite interesting. I mean, a lot of those initiatives are not really even focused on Bitcoin, but really focused on um, transforming the way the traditional assets are being stored and and uh, transferred and executed, such as stock, bond, um, all the those assets. And the third part is around really those mass market adoptions on the on the back of. Uh, Initiatives like the Libra uh, cryptocurrency that uh, Facebook and the Libra Association uh, is pushing, where I think, you know, from my perspective, this is probably the most exciting part because this will really lower the cost and makes it will make access to money and access to cross border remittance and other aspects much more efficient, cost effective uh, for just the regular retail. The access that Facebook and some of those members have uh, would really bring the access to the third world countries where we actually have not, we don't have a good inc- inclusion of a uh, consumer. Um, so that's, I think, really definitely a market that we sort of preparing ourselves to be an important participant. Thank you so much for meeting up and talking to us about Fireblocks and sharing your thoughts about the future of digital assets. All right, thank you so much.